When I was 18, I read an article kind of in National Geographic on uh, the water supply for New York City, and that got me interested in water, and I focused on that, and I got my degrees in environmental engineering, um, mainly water treatment and wastewater treatment. The human body becomes the reservoir for the water, and it's, water's heavy. It's about a thousand times heavier than air, so it's really hard to launch that into station. It's about twenty dollars to $40,000 per liter of water to get it to station. So both economically and physically, we need to recycle all the water that's already there. And so in each, each astronaut, there's about 40 or 50 liters of water. And the idea is just to continuously recycle the water that's leaving their body every day. About two liters are leaving into the air phase, and then the urine is the tricky part on how to recycle that, because that's the saltiest. So urine is very much like seawater. Gypsum scaling is what this technology prevents, the formation of calcium sulfate that scales your hardware. And that's a common problem. It's a billion dollar problem on here on Earth. And so this technology helps to prevent that or delay that scaling of surfaces. We looked at the chemistry that was involved in that. And just from some basic chemistry, we were able to come up with a new formulation for the flush water. And that's where my technology comes into play. It, my solution injects with that flush water and enables them to get up to 90% of the water from the urine um, compared to previous technologies that were able to get only about 70, 75% of the water from the urine. Our end game goal is, of course, to close the water loop entirely, not to have to take any water with you when you travel somewhere. You're always reusing the water that you have. And on station, prior to this technology, we were probably at 92% recovery of all the water. Um, and now we're up to maybe 95%. We're getting close to that 100% closure. Their own wastewater, in some ways, and they, if they're in a drought situation or something like so, that emergency supplies and things like that, where you would uh, you could put in this system to actually recover people's wastewater um, in extreme situations it would be one one possible application of this technology. This NASA technology and many others are ready to be transferred to your business. Find out more by visiting technology.nasa.gov.